the last part we'll talk about is landing page design and testing. So you're driving all this traffic, you're doing all this testing on your emails, on your display ads, on your, um, on your paid ads, you name it, okay? You insert, insert dynamic keyword insertion, testing the subject lines, testing colors, all that great stuff. Well, you're all driving um, to one place to have an action take place. Now, when a client comes to me and they said, Dave, if I have to test one thing, and I've been, this question has been posed quite a few times. If I had to test one thing, what is the one thing, whether I have to pick through my email, my ads, you know, you name it, what's the one thing I should test? Um, and I always say the landing page because that's the one lever you can pull. Because think about it. If you're driving traffic from your email to this landing page, from your display advertising, to your paid advertising, to organic, everything's driving to this one landing page. If you just improve your conversion rate from a 1.5% to a 2% on your landing page, you just improve results across all your channels. So that's why like landing page testing, especially with paid advertising, is so important. I'm surprised that more companies don't take their landing page testing more seriously. And that's something we help a lot of our clients out with. Because over time, you know, keywords, there's only so much you can do, you know, unless you're a huge e-commerce. You know, ads, you can test straightforward, great. But a big component, you can be driving the most qualified traffic to your site and spending a lot of money getting them there. If you're not testing your landing page and giving that um, visitor the best experience, you're wasting your money. Like landing pages are almost foundational. If you're not testing your landing pages on a regular basis, um, you should be. And we do a lot of landing page testing with our clients, so here's a brief little plug. And we're able to really help results quickly, just from some very simple testing. So whether it's with us on your own or with somebody else, if you're spending any type of money on paid advertising and email, those resources, you need to be testing your landing page immediately. So let's talk about landing pages with that being said. So this is a great model, and there's a uh, company out there, Wider Funnel, they do conversion optimization, and they do a really great job. I've seen the uh, founder speak a couple times, but they have a great book. I'm completely um, mis um, forgetting the title right now, of course. Um, but they build everything off of what they call this lift um, model, which I agree with, and, and they visualize it as a plane taking off. There's really six things that you need to do on your landing page to improve conversion. First off, you need to increase the relevancy of the page to the visitor. I discussed this a little bit earlier in the presentation, that somebody needs to feel from that ad going to that landing page that it's all connected, that it's not disconnected. It makes them feel comfortable. How many times have you clicked on an ad um, in your own experience and felt like you went to the wrong place or something was broken. That hurts conversion rates. So it needs to be, the ads and the landing page need to be relevant. Also, and I'll go through the next ones real quick, increase, you need to have very good clarity of the offer. Why am I here? What you want? What do you want me to do? Don't make people think, because people aren't going to think. You're working with fractions of seconds here. So if somebody clicked an ad about blue widgets, they go to a landing page that is relevant to the ad, let them know right away, hey, you're here for the blue widgets. It will improve your conversion rates. Once again, think about your own experience. Keep an eye out for this stuff. When you click on ads, was that a smooth experience? Do I know exactly why I'm here and what the offer is? Reduce anxiety, reduce distractions. Okay, the more, and this is a common mistake too, because people are thinking, oh, I don't want to lose the traffic, so I'm going to give them 50 options. I'm going to try to be everything from for everybody, okay? No. You know, what you want to do, if somebody clicks on an ad for blue widgets, take them to the blue widgets, give them blue widgets options. Don't lay out red widgets, yellow widgets, all the options for red, all the options for yellow, and navigation. And, and this really applies across all channels, but especially e-commerce. Like, when I was heavily involved with e I worked with a ton of e-commerces um, earlier in my career, and we would, the landing pages that worked the best for e-commerce where we took all navigation out. Somebody clicked on that ad for that blue widget, the only option they had was to buy a blue widget, period. And people go, oh my goodness, you're, that person's, yeah, okay, we lost people, 
But if you go from a 1% conversion rate to a 5% conversion rate, well, guess what? I'm good with losing those people because I just increased our revenue five times, okay? So reduce anxiety, reduce distractions, improve that value proposition, and increase that urgency. We still see it today, and people do it because it works. You know, you're watching TV, and you see that infomercial, and they say, hey, call now within the next 15 minutes to get this offer. Now, look, the reality is you call 20 minutes from now, they're going to give you that offer. But the reason they do it, that works. P calls to action, urgency works. Use it within your landing pages. And then they visualize it through the airplane image on the side. So by increasing relevance and clarity, reducing anxiety and distraction, and having urgency, it gives you a lift. Okay? And these guys check out, they put out a lot of good content, and I'm totally drawing a blank with the book, but wider funnel, good stuff if you're interested in learning about landing page testing. And once again, we help out with landing page testing as well.